All eyes on Hurricane Haleen rapidly intensifying in the Gulf of Mexico this afternoon. You can see it on satellite eye popping out and this is expected to bring catastrophic storm surge to the Big Bend tonight along with strong winds, uh, heavy rain and tornadoes far inland into the southeastern United States. So this is going to cause a lot of headlines in the coming days. Here's a close in look at it on satellite this afternoon. Eye popping out. There's those storms wrapping around the center. Uh, so this is quickly getting better organized and it will become a major hurricane before making landfall tonight. Uh, here's a look at it on radar. Not too many rain bands right now over Florida, but these are going to overspread the state in the next several hours. And notice there's that eye on the Tampa radar. So this is going to be making landfall later on tonight and we're going to be tracking it closely. Uh, here's the latest information from the National Hurricane Center 10 a.m. advisory 105 mile per hour wind. So uh, Haleen, a solid category two hurricane at the moment. I will say hurricane hunters are investigating it right now and they have found that pressure has continued to fall now down to at least 958 millibars. So this thing is strengthening and by the time it reaches the coast tonight, it'll at least be a category three hurricane. Would not be surprised one bit if this ended up a category four or even stronger. But either way, the big story is going to be the power outages over the next several days. Notice tropical storm warnings extending all the way inland into Asheville, North Carolina. It's not every day that you see that hurricane warnings extending inland into Macon and places like Atlanta over into Charleston, Columbia, all the way down to the Florida Peninsula are going to see at least strong tropical storm force winds. This is going to cause a lot of power outages. There's also going to be a lot of trees down as well. So this is going to disrupt a lot of things in the coming days. On top of that, catastrophic storm surge is expected in the Big Bend, uh, at least 8, 12 to 18 feet, possibly 20 feet or higher in some isolated spots. So uh, if you know anybody that lives in this area and they haven't left, tell them to go heed those warnings. But big storm surge extending down to places like Sarasota and Tampa and even Fort Myers and down towards Marco Island. Island as well. Uh, so this is going to cause a lot of problems along with flash flooding and tornadoes as well. Here's the simulated radar over the next several hours. The eye pushing towards the coast, making landfall tonight uh, somewhere between Cedar Key and Apalachicola. Either way, this is going to quickly spread inland heading into the overnight hours, uh, spreading heavy rain, strong hurricane force winds, tornadoes up into Georgia and the Carolinas. And this is going to disrupt a lot of things, including a potentially catastrophic flooding in the Appalachian. So we'll be tracking Haleen uh, heading into tonight and we'll have the latest here at Fox 4.